Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I ask unanimous consent for my complete statement to be put in the record. Without objection. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, a lot of concern now has been expressed about the collapsing of this housing bubble. It's a shame that we had not talked about this 10 or 15 years ago when many free market economists predicted it would come and worried about it and wished we could have prevented it. But the irony of all this now is that everything that caused the, fi the financial bubble, the housing bubble, uh, we're resorting to doing the same thing. You can't solve the problem of inflation with inflation. The debasement of the currency, which is a continual process, is the reason we get financial problems and financial bubbles. Whether it was in the 1920s or the NASDAQ bubble or the housing bubble. We have to deal with the cause. We're dealing and we talk so much about our solutions, but nobody's talking about the cause. And the cause literally is the excessive credit created by the Federal Reserve System, and we can't deny this. And then we add fuel to the fire by credit allocation. We come in with uh, the CRA, the Community Reinvestment Act. We come in with insurance by the FHA. Uh, we come in with the GSEs and the line of credit and the and the guaranteed in, in, uh, implied uh, bailouts. And then when the collapse comes, all we have, what do we do? We ask for more regulation, more credit, more debasement of the currency. And that's, that to me, uh, we, we have heard expressions about going over the line and, in, in, and engaging in, in moral hazard. Well, the moral hazard has been going on for years. And here we are now at a point where we're destroying savers and the poor. We literally destroy people by lowering interest rates. People can't save. And who suffers the most? The middle class and the poor whose cost of living goes up because we deliberately and purposely devalue the currency. That's all we're resorting to is the depreciation of currency, which in itself should be an immoral act. So to me, if we don't look to the cause of these problems, we're going to have another. And patching it together will do nothing more than what we did in the Depression when we patched things together. We just delay the recovery.